Hello, today we're going to talk about Georgia Tech's ethics class as part of their online master's program. I just finished the class, so I'm here to tell you all about it. Let's get started. All right, so let's talk about Georgia Tech's AI ethics and society class. So the short answer to this is it's a pretty easy class with about seven hours of homework a week and very interesting. What is ethics? Ethics is basically the study of trying to treat people fairly, and it's actually very relevant with AI because... Um, Offloading tasks to AI means we no longer get as much control over the decision-making process. So graded course material, um, here's the graded course material, I won't go through each of those. Let's talk about the projects. So the first project you have is to basically go to any social media account, uh, back in the day I guess it was Facebook, but it could be anything. Uh, try and find all the ad data that this social media company has on you, and then you'll make a data flow graph to represent how accurate each advertisement is to you specifically. The next project is Stats 101. So basically given a data set, you're going to analyze it by separating the records by protected class variables. Protected classes are just like gender, age, religion, stuff like that. And then once you've divided it up, you're going to analyze it using graphs and charts. My suggestion is use matplotlib for these kinds of assignments. It's really nice, and Python lets you basically choose whatever you want to display. All right, third project here is the AI and machine learning project. So with this one, you first part is you get a data set of toxicity in comments on an online forum, and you just try and find some trends in it based on things like gender, age, or race. It's actually really interesting. You get to read the comments if you want. They're kind of funny. Uh, part two is you get some word embeddings, which are an interesting topic. It's basically representing a word as a vector and then being able to perform vector operations on the word. So you can add the word together, you can like subtract them from each other. Uh, it's just a really interesting concept and it's used a lot in today's natural language processing. The next project is fairness and bias. So in this one, you get a data set and well actually you find a data set yourself and then you split it up into like privileged or unprivileged groups and start finding some fairness metrics matplotlib is your friend that's my favorite go-to package for python display like you can basically make any graph with it definitely use that uh, you'll be using a ton of graphs for this assignment the next and final project is one where you chip pick a data set and then you basically do what you did in the fairness project. Uh, it's just a little bit lengthier. One good place to start looking for data sets is the University of California Irvine's machine learning repository. Yeah, re start early because this one does take a while, um, 15 maybe to 20 hours. Okay, written critiques. Uh, these are very short one to two page write-ups that you just fill out some yes or no answers and then you also give your opinion on a few things. One is that you take this autonomous vehicle demo thing where it goes through a few like scenarios of a self-driving vehicle and what it would do based on certain ethical frameworks and that's actually really interesting uh, the next one is a what if tool so like you get this data set and you start to analyze it based on age gender race and just kind of to see what happens in the data when you um, like discriminate against any kind of group uh, it's really interesting. I honestly enjoyed these projects, these two uh, written critiques. Next are some case studies. These are just paragraph responses that you put in Canvas and your fellow peers will comment on them. You just need to comment to two other peers' uh, responses. That's pretty easy. And then exercises are almost the same thing as case studies, but even simpler, you basically just write a paragraph. And finally, the exams. So the midterm is on Canvas. It's proctored. You have to have your camera on, um, but it's open note, so that's really nice. The final is a take-home exam with about 20 hours of programming, and it's very similar to the final project. You can do it as a group if you want of, I think, up to four people. And then here's my grade breakdown. Yeah, I got a B because I didn't do one of the projects, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Feel free to check out other videos of other Georgia Tech classes that I've made and subscribe for new ones coming soon. See you in the next one.